What's up guys? I'm here in Cuenca, Ecuador today and I'm going to talk about uh, Cuenca versus Quito where I currently live and I've been living for like seven years. So I know what you're thinking. Uh, I'm probably biased towards Quito. Nah, not really. Uh, but uh, let's, let's take a look and compare the two. And when I first moved abroad, uh, I think I did what, what everyone should do and, and that is uh, formulate some criteria that's important to you or priorities when looking for a new place to live, particularly abroad. And for me, it was four things, right? The weather, right? Something mild, steady, and warm, but not too warm. Uh, food, right? Decent local food was important to me. And the cost of living was important to me. And uh, when I moved abroad, the single life was also important to me. So we'll cover those four points now, now I'm currently married, so that's not so important to me at the current time, but uh, it might be important to you, so I'll cover it anyway, uh, comparing the few, the these four points, Quito versus Cuenca, and also a few extra points as well. Like I know a lot of people are concerned about safety or healthcare and different things, so we'll talk about that briefly too, just from what I've seen. Right, what I found, the weather here in Cuenca uh, basically is pretty similar to the valleys of Quito, right? It's a little bit warmer than Quito city proper by a few degrees, um, but it's probably about the same temperature as the valleys of Quito, kind of Cumbaya. It's not quite as warm as Tumbaco, uh, but it's it's right there with Cumbaya. You're looking at, um, you. for some people, it rains a lot in Cuenca. Uh, for me, it rains quite a bit in Quito city proper, but it rains a lot less uh, as you get out further towards the airport in Quito, like in the Tumbaco area, it actually rains a lot less compared to the city proper, which is higher up and a little bit cooler uh, over in the Quito area. So for me, weather, I would say it's a push on this point, uh, both Cuenca and Quito, pretty similar, mild, temperate weather all year round, really hard to beat. You know, something not too hot, not too cold, and steady all year long. The next point on food uh, here in Cuenca, uh, where I'm at now, is I have to say it beats Quito, right? The local food is pretty similar to Quito and Cuenca. Uh, it's hot Ecuador Highland cuisine. They really like their pork and stuff like that. But what's nice about Cuenca is that you can find... Uh, a lot of international cuisine since it's been an expat hotspot for almost 10 years now uh, since International Living first started mentioning it uh, mentioning it <clears throat> a lot of international people have came in and put up eating uh, options and the prices are much lower than what in a lot of places compared to once you get outside the old town especially compared to what brings me to my next point the cost of living I found Quito much more expensive than Cuenca, right? You can find rentals the same quality uh, here in Cuenca as you could in Quito for almost half the price, right? The same rental quality you could find in a decent area in Quito uh, or Cumbaya, you're probably looking at half that uh, for a similar quality here in Cuenca. So. Definitely I see uh, the draw there when it comes to Cuenca. Now the next thing, the single life, obviously you got to give it to to Quito. Uh, there's just more people, it's more cosmopolitan, uh, it's not as, a, it's, it's, it's just much bigger, right? And, and you have more options there if that's what you're looking for. As far as closeness to a beach, if that's important to you, from Quito you could just fly over to Manta in about an hour, right? And you're on the beach. Here in Cuenca, there's no direct flight to the beach, so you'd have to take the two and a half hour uh, or three hour drive over to Guayaquil uh, through the Cajas, uh, which is a pretty pretty windy road uh, on down to the coast, and then another hour, hour and a half past that to get to the nearest beach, which is, would be Playas. So um, I'd have to say probably Quito wins on that one. We're talking about security. Obviously, Cuenca wins. Uh, far and away, uh, I just walked around at night for a while last night, and, and it's a much safer, uh, cleaner city in general compared to 
uh, the bigger city of Quito, no doubt about it. And there's so many more areas in Quito that you should avoid uh, than there are in Cuenca. So for me, there's no question Cuenca wins on the security front. When it comes to healthcare, it kind of goes doctor to doctor, not so much clinic to clinic in Ecuador, but the service and care is really hit and miss compared on the compared to the physician uh, in question. So, I mean, that's kind of a push as well. I would always go if you can with someone that's recommended, uh, and you should be fine in either place. This is kind of a this might be getting picky, but one thing I like about living in Cuenca is that it's much flatter compared to a lot of areas in the city of Quito, which is uh, has a lot of vertical living, right? A lot of steep ascents and descents. Hence, what you just saw, possibly uh, what happened a few days ago, a huge mudslide came down right in the middle of the city, practically, uh, from the mountain, just be right down one of the main roads, just because uh, they built Quito practically in a crevice or in a hole, right on this next to this huge volcano so I mean uh, there's a lot of streets that you really have to huff and puff to get up or down uh, in Quito and you don't really have that issue too much uh, in most of the areas in Cuenca. Another thing obviously there's no Uber in Cuenca since a few years ago that I covered in a recent short and uh, in Quito you have you know wherever where, it's very convenient wherever you're at you just ping an Uber or an in driver, a DD, and they come pick you up in minutes and you can get to where you're going and you really don't need a car. I've been over a year now without a car and I, I don't even feel like I need one. Uh, I just got one currently but a couple weeks ago but I went over a year without a car didn't feel like I even needed one. Here in Cuenca I was just here a week or so and I realized to get around you kinda need a car. I mean you can have a few taxis. Taxis are pretty cheap. You could have a few on call I guess if you really don't want a car uh, but I mean, um, you need a car more than in Quito, in my opinion. Now, Quito does have an international airport compared to Cuenca, which does not. Uh, you can fly only to Quito. You usually have to stay the night there and then catch an international flight out uh, the next day. Um, just because a lot of times the times don't uh, co co coincide perfectly right between flights. So another thing to consider for you as well. Now, who wins? For me, pers I can only say for me, obviously, and for me, actually, Cuenca. Cuenca would probably win uh, in a head-to-head -head with Quito if I didn't have economic reasons to live in Quito, like I've had my hotel business and different things going on, and right now a few uh, Airbnb rentals in Quito, and that's currently why I live there. And I still like Quito, too. Don't get me wrong, but but if I had to compare the two head to head, knowing what I know now, I'd, I'd have to say Cuenca. Cuenca probably wins for me when comparing the two. Click the subscribe button below and ring the bell for more just like this. Take care.